The Virunga Range expands across Rwanda, Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Along with Uganda's windy forest, it acts as the world's only habitat for mountain gorillas. The Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda boasts of accommodating hundreds of mountain gorillas. Despite this conservation triumph, the creatures are now fighting for space to grow and thrive. In the past 60, 50 years, the park lost 54% uh, of the size of the park. And when all efforts uh, were put in place to, for the mountain gorilla population to, to recover to the current numbers, you know, the habitat has not changed. We are recorded seven silverback deaths. So that's, again, a consequence of more groups ranging in the same area, really not expanding and going to, um, um, to the rest of the park, and that leading to more intergroup interactions and then uh, more infanticides. According to workers in the Rwandan park, the number of gorillas has risen from just 880 in 2010 to over 1,000 by 2015. This is after decades of poaching that has caused a plunge in the population. We are aiming in the next uh, five, uh, ten years to expand uh, the park by 37 square kilometers, which uh, corresponds uh, to a 23% increase of uh, the effective habitat uh, of the park. Stronger security measures to prevent human-wildlife conflict have sought to win over locals. Today, 10% of each park ticket is dedicated to community projects, while 5% is allocated to a compensation fund for villages. This has helped turn the gorillas' fortunes around, as they are now seen as key to the community's financial future. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN.